Hello and welcome back to another episode of 100% Orange Juice. This time we'll be doing Mark Episode 5. Wow, it's pretty dark here. Popo! Popo popos! God, so annoying! We need to do something before there are more popos! Yeah. I'm kinda interested to see how many popos there will be in the end. Good heavens. So many people here. Po -po -po. Do you want to play with us? Po -po 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 -po. You want me to join you? I think this is going to be fun. Po -po -po. We're not here to play, but... Anyway, we should get our stuff back while the Popos are paying little attention to us. Good idea. Let's do our best. So, we'll be facing off against two Mary Popos. In the... Since it is warfare, we probably want to bring s a lot of healing. And the bad side to this is, uh, obviously, uh, we're providing a source of healing for the Mary Popos, but our effective health is more important than their, their 7 health, because they have made up 7 health, but uh, they can easily be KO'd by 2 rounds of combat, where we can survive up to 4, essentially. So, I'm gonna stock up on uh, dinners. Uh, followed by... Uh, some aggressive cards. Extend. Final battle. Oh my friend. And we'll top it off with two Usabits and perhaps a Magnum. And uh, uh, let's see. Mm, nice present. Nice present is always good when you have uh, nothing else to put in because essentially. It's a deck thinner, in uh, card game terminology. Uh, so if you have not- if you want to deep draw into a certain card, you will put in Nice Present and Princess of Privilege, but Princess of Privilege has the downside of only being able to be used while you have- well, that's the only card in your hand. So, Nice Present is overall the better choice. This is actually patch 1.3, but nothing major changes except for a small Aru buff. And so Aru's evasion is now plus two, puts her on par with Suguri. Although Suguri is more or less still a better character, uh, because uh, you can farm stars and you're no uh, you're no rag you're no rag in terms of combat either. Aru is. A high risk, low reward character, even after the buffs, since uh, your hyper has the risk of always uh, giving your opponent more hypers. And you can alleviate that by putting in gift exchanges, but uh, again, that's all a uh, very random number generator reliant. Overall, I believe Fernet and Red Hobo farm stars better than Aru even after the buffs, so. Aru will be one of those, uh, fun-to-play characters once in a while, but probably won't see much competitive usage. And, uh, I use competitive usage very loosely, since there isn't really, like, a meta? Well, there is a objective meta and a tier list and such for this game, but there's no meta game, uh, I would say. At least not yet. But it would be nice to see, a. Uh, Meta game evolve, but uh, this game is really luck reliant. So I won't, I won't count your chicken before you hatch. Essentially, uh, where are, where are we? Uh, we talked about about the Aru buffs. Uh, we'll probably play a bit more Aru later on in the uh, extra scenario since we did really poorly uh, last time we played Aru. That was just me playing Aru on a combat map, which is a really bad idea. Back to the state of the game. Blue Mary Popo is the first to reach level 2. Sora's gonna go fight a Green Mary Popo and get a KO. We're gonna fight this seagull. And this might be the end of us. 
but we actually survived with one health. So we're we want we want the air uh, we want the air raid to knock us out because that will that will prevent us from losing stars. Although this will make us lose some turns, it's not that big of a deal early on. Green Mary Pope is gonna fight Sora and surprisingly do two damage. And Sora will only do one damage in return. This seagull though, the seagull will do one damage to Mary Popo. Sora will reach level two and then go for the wind normal. Pretty wise because she already has those winds. Mary Popo is gonna fight Sora again. Uh, pretty bad idea. Put Sora at six wins. So her level, her level four normal is set. While we stay, uh, while we stay KO'd. So. Sora has a chance of leveling up this turn, but she used here and there, so that chance is moot. We finally revive. Our hand is currently Big Rocket. Oh, my friend, and here and there. We're saving the here and there to disrupt uh, our opponents from leveling up. I think that's the best use of here and there, in my opinion. Rampo who does one damage to the Sentinel, and actually evade the Sentinel's counterattack. And uh, the other Mary Purple reaches level 2, so we're the ones being left in the dust here. Uh, we warp uh, to further away from our lollipop, so we'll be stuck in the outer rim for a bit. Yet again. Now we are farming a lot of stars. Green Mary Purple is gonna fight Sora. Sora will take one damage. And Green Mary Purple will take one damage. Sora uses extraordinary specs. Roll of six, roll of six, gets 18 stars. Probably not the best usage because I costed 30 stars to use in the beginning. We do one damage to Boomerang Popo, and Boomerang Popo does uh, two damage to us. So we're really unlucky, or perhaps uh, the game's just cheating us because it always cheats us uh, in these later stages of the campaign mode. Extraordinary Specs is used by Sora again, and this time you actually level up, so the boss will spawn. We're still level 1. And we have no choice but to fight Mary Pobo. Otherwise, Mary Pobo will get the jump on us next turn. And we actually evade, so that's pretty good. And we draw dinner. Dinner is good, but we have no way to use it since we're level 3. Since we are not level 3. Fire level 3 is what I want to say. Sora actually evades the boss's attack, so so much, so much bullshit going on. We draw another card, don't want it. It's sealed guardian. Fire level 5, fire 50 stars, put everyone at 1 health. We could strategically use this on this map to say, uh, put everyone at 1 health and you gain 1 health on your lollipop, then Say you use it on like uh the turn before air raid occurs, then everyone else will lose, will get KO'd and lose some turns. That's one way to use it on this map at least. Actually, deal three damage to the boss, so the next person who lands on the boss will probably get the KO. I really didn't want to deal three damage to the boss, but if we land on the boss, it's good news for us. We do not. Instead, we get three stars. So Mary Popo, Blue Mary Popo will reach level three, and uh, or uh, Green Mary Popo uses dinner, so we're back at full health. And we're actually gonna go in here because we haven't we haven't gone near our lollipop at all this game. Uh, get the exchange with you, and we actually gain ubiquitous out of it. So. We won that exchange, essentially. Uh, we will not stop at home. I want this boss kill. If nothing else, it denies boss kill from others. And again, this does delay our level 2. But, uh, hopefully these investment decisions will pay off in the long run. 
Oh, uh, what I think I can do though is use ubiquitous, steal from Blue Mary Popo, and hopefully roll four higher. So we roll four, and then we'll level up, and then we'll go for two or more enemies because you always go for the wins if you already have the wins. And this, of course, you want to farm wins to get that achievement. Then uh, you would go for stars, and then purposely get KO'd, so you lose stars, and then you revive and then get more kills. Achievement farming in a nutshell. Uh, we lost our Oh My Friend card. Although, uh, Green Mare Pupple was the one who acquired it and uses it. So, a new boss will spawn. Sora will take out Green Mary Popo. Uh, I believe... Yes, yeah, Super All Out Mode is active, so that's why uh, Sora had that plus two. We're gonna go on this lollipop. And then we're gonna go for 70 more stars. So, the farming early game is really allowing us to catch up in terms of levels. Because uh, we're gonna get three levels in quick succession. Mary Popo does one down to the boss, and gets Kayla by the boss. Our super all-out mode is still active, so we're probably going to want to save that to fight Sora or to fight the boss with. We're not going to stop at home, we're going to stop at this home, because it puts us far closer to looping around our lollipop again. And had we had any traps, we could place them on someone else's lollipop next turn. That's why it's more or less advantageous to go for another person's lollipop, given the choice. So, Mary Popo, Green Mary Popo is going to be on our tail. Not too concerned. Uh, Green Mary Popo does not have super all out mode active, so that's why I'm not that concerned. Uh, we triggered tragedy in the dead of the night, so we lost the... Uh, I'm not sure what we lost. I think we lost a dinner and then drew another dinner? Uh, somewhat downside for playing on the game speed 4. You miss uh, small details like these if you're not paying very close attention. We're gonna... I know we're landing on a lot of drops, but uh, we really want to uh, get to level 5 as soon as possible. Because then it will allow us to use our hyper to its fullest potential. Red Bubble does one damage to the boss and then get killed with the boss again. But uh, you don't need me to tell you that, because that's happened plenty of times in this game. And finally, we reach level 5, so we'll go for 200 more stars next. And I presume we will get that by the time we loop back again. Uh, of course. We don't want to use any of these cards because we don't want to spend unnecessary stars. Unfortunately, we have to go the long way because I don't want to deal with the boss. We don't want to risk it at all at this point, since we're in a pretty good position to win. Air raid occurs, so we take one damage. Uh, we warp closer to our lollipop, so that's pretty good. As long as we don't warp again, uh, I presume we'll probably win in, say, like, four or five turns, if I'm being pessimistic. So Sora stops at her own lollipop, and uh, she went for 14 wins. So unless she gets two kills off of another character, or like a boss kill and a regular mob kill, then, uh, she'll have a hard time getting that final normal. Although, Sora's going for blood here. Mary Popo survived with one health, though. Hmm. We go, and then Blue Mary Popo goes, and then Green Mary Popo goes, and then Sora goes. I think I'll actually use dinner. Uh, it costed us 10 stars, but uh, the reason I use dinner is because it gives the Mary Popos 3 additional health, and that'll make it a little bit harder for Sora to KO them. So, this is dinner used in an aggressive manner, used to deny your opponent kills. And, oh, that's really unfortunate that we landed on exchange. 
uh, was an expecting exchange. So we lost everything. The only thing we didn't lose is our level. Uh, it's gonna take a while before we can catch up though, but if we roll the two and get the boss kill... No. Well, this Mary Popo is gonna actually gonna get the boss kill. So, uh... uh we, we were we were in a pretty good position to win the game, but we all we lost it to Exchange. Exchange is a really powerful card, but uh, I really don't like uh, double edged cards like that because while while it could help win the game, it could also ruin your chances of winning. Uh, we're gonna we we landed on the uh, the drop just because I wanted to get back into the inner circle. So now, Blue Mary Popo is the titan of the game. We have another boss to deal with, so hopefully that boss will be able to KO Blue Mary Popo at least once. We're gonna stop by home to heal up. Uh, Blue Mary Popo levels up. And then she's gonna go for stars, of course. So... Uh, we'll just... We have to chase them essentially and fight them. So I'm hoping the boss will be able to KO Mary Popo. And it does. So that will delay her for a little bit. And, uh, I really want to roll low to essentially uh, camp her corpse. To put in a very uh, disdain manner, but. I also don't want to deal with the boss right now. So I use a long distance shot to deal with damage to Blue Mary Popo. It's a waste, in my opinion. Uh, air raid occurs. We get some more stars, so we're slowly getting back our footing. Blue Mary Popo is going to fight Green Mary Popo, and Green Mary Popo is going to do 2 damage to Blue Mary Popo. And, uh. Green Mary Popo actually used Reverse Attribute Field to KO the boss. So, this is really anyone's game at this point. Getting more of these bonus panels really helps, though. Blue Mary Popo is gonna fight Green Mary Popo, and uh, not much comes out of it. Uh, we're really lucky that uh, Green Mary Popo didn't use the big rocket on us, because we really need... Oh, that's so risky. Uh, we really need a, we really need these turns to uh, get to 200 stars and win. Okay, so uh, Blue Mary Purple reaches level 5. And, uh, she's one star short from... She's one star short from uh, leveling. I hope we roll a three, if for nothing else to put this go away trap at her lollipop. But we only roll a two, so we lost everything. Not everything, but uh, we probably lost our chances of winning because uh, Mary Popo managed to gain gain enough stars. Actually, Green Mary Popo gained enough stars. Oh, the exchange ruined everything. We're going to try this one more time really quickly. And uh, it's just really unfortunate that it had to be an exchange trap. Otherwise, uh, that was going to be an easy win for us. We are going to... I, I mean, I could use Stiff Crystals, but uh, uh, I don't foresee Chas being that too much of a problem. It was just that particular exchange trap. So we're just going to shove in a bunch of Assault and go away, so hopefully delay the Mary Pobos. Spawn in a pretty poor position because uh, 
It would have been ideal to spawn behind a Mary Popo, but instead we spawn behind Sora. We'll defend, take one damage. We could KO the chicken, we only did two damage to it. Um, this leaves, this leaves the chicken available for Mary Popo to get a kill. We draw a big rocket right off the bat. And again, uh, we really want to save these until later in the game, but since Mary Popos have gift exchanges in the deck, that might not be a possibility. We draw here and there. That'll come in useful to deny leveling up. Draw an assault, so we're at four cards. We'll get rid of here and there. Sora does one damage to a seagull, dodges the seagull's counterattack. Grandpa uses I'm on fire to deal two damage to the sentinel, and the sentinel deals one damage in the counterattack. The other Mary Purple reaches level two, and we're just gonna use this lollipop. Uh, we didn't have 10 stars yet, but we just did it to heal one. It's not the worst thing to put assault on our own lollipop, but we're not level 2 yet, so we can't even do that. And we're getting rid of this exchange immediately. I don't want to deal with it. So Sora was right on our tail, but since Green Mary Popo used uh, here and there, that is no longer the case. We've been doing nothing but drawing cards this game. Which is not bad, but it would have been better to land on bonus panels to get a little bit further ahead in the stars. Mary Popo fights the chicken and takes four down from the chicken. Green Mary Popo puts out a trap. We are gonna land on this Mary Popo's lollipop to level up. And then we're gonna go for 30 or more stars. Next turn, we will put down the assault trap, and then life will be good. Cloud of Seagulls is used, so we take two damage. Unfortunate. Green Mary Popo fights a Sentinel, deals one damage, and takes three damage in a turn. So again, we'll put down the assault trap on our lollipop, and we're not gonna fight Mary Popo, instead, we're just gonna go on this lollipop to heal. That'll put us at two health after the air raid. Uh, Blue Mary Popo. We could have went for the Blue Mary Popo kill, but uh, since we're not really going for kills, we probably would have lost more stars. So we got lucky to take out the Seagull, because the Seagull would have probably taken us out on the counterattack. Seagull only does one damage to Sora in its counterattack. We will step on this trap. Better to step on these now than later in the game. So, the chicken knocks us out. It's better than uh, Mary Popo knocking us out. Because uh, we just lose our stars to an NPC, which we, are, we may or may not be able to recover later on. Here and there is used by Sora. Shuffling our positions. Blue Mary Popo revives. Green Mary Popo uses here and there as well. So. We're actually in a pretty awkward position, but uh, since we stayed down, we'll be able to get behind these guys next turn. Although, Blue Mary Popo is camping our square, so we revive. It's okay, because uh, Blue Mary Popo will move before us, and she rolls a 6, and triggers a go away, so she won't, she won't be a factor for a while. We roll a 4, draw another card, it's dangerous footing. Whoever steps on it will skip the next turn. Perhaps we want to put this on uh, someone's lollipop. Not the best trap to put on a lollipop, but it's better than nothing. He said no, he's actually going to KO Mary Popo through the invasion trap. And we draw another big rocket. So we have two big rockets and oh my friend. No one is actually going for wins right now. Technically Sora is, but she already has the wins, so it doesn't really count. We're gonna award. I don't want to lose stars. I put this on top of Sora. Pretty good, because it gives us the opportunity to KO Sora. Blue Mary Popo is the first to reach level 3. 
So we're gonna go fight Sora. Uh, we roll Pitiful, and Sora does one damage and counterattack. Perhaps next turn we'll be able to, but she rolls a 6 and gets away, and actually positions herself behind us. I don't want to deal with this, so we're going to use the Big Rocket to KO Sora. But you can see we actually get the two wins for using Big Rocket. So we'll KO the chicken to get our stars back. The reason I used Big Rocket there is because I didn't want Sora to potentially KO us next turn. And by doing... Oh, come on! So basically ignore everything I just said because we rolled... We landed on the the warp, which puts us back in square one, so Sora will be able to KO us this turn. Uh, unless we evade like a god, which we actually do, and retaliate for two damage. So, in this situation, we're just gonna do the same thing as last turn. So we're at five, six wins. So, I think this chicken might be the end of us. We actually survived the chicken, so... If we survive for two more turns, the air raid will take us out. And that's a good thing, because it's better than another character taking us out. Sora's gonna fight Blue Mary Popo. And, uh, deal three damage to Blue Mary Popo. We... fail to today. Although... Uh, we were really pushing our luck, so I guess it's fine. If only we survived one more turn. Sora takes out Blue Mary Popo. But this is really uh, anyone's game right now. Green Mary Popo uses Ubiquitous to steal from Sora. Sora rolls a 5 to get away from us. Finally, we're on our first bonus panel. I believe it's our first. Sora's gonna fight Green Mary Popo. Green Mary Popo takes two damage, and Sora evades the counterattack. Green Mary Popo draws a card. We're gonna finally land on a lollipop. So next, we're gonna go for five or more enemies because we got those through our big rockets. Sora actually warps behind us. Uh, the Boomerang Popo, so perhaps she's gonna fight her again. Draw Gift Exchange, the second. Sora does two, four damage to Boomerang Popo. And invades counterattack. Boomerang Popo lands at a bonus panel. Green Mary Popo warps. We're gonna use Gift Exchange to potentially get some goodies. We get Reverse Attribute Fuse and Dinner. Could have been better, but. It's fine. So we're gonna stop at home. And then we're gonna go for 120 more stars next. A raid occurs, so we all took one damage. So I get some more bonus stars. Mary Popo lands on Mimi's hammer, deals one damage to the boss, and gets taken out by the boss. Boss is at six health. Green Mary Popo is at one health. Get some stars. Ah. Uh, we're gonna use Reverse Attribute Field here. Do three damage to the boss, and evade the boss's counterattack. We did this because I don't want to take uh, the risk of getting killed by the boss. It would have been better to save Reverse Attribute Field for eventually KOing the boss later, but this is the choice we're gonna live with. So Sora is gonna fight us. We're gonna survive and then counterattack with a KO. Puts us at 183 stars. Pretty good position to be in. And uh, Green Mary Popo chooses not to fight us, which is a very good decision on her part. Although she's probably gonna fight us next turn because her AI is wacky. Green Mary Popo does one damage to the boss, and takes five damage of a turn. I called it! It's happened many times. And she actually has a chance to KO us. And she does. Because our luck is abysmal. So I think Sora will now try to KO Green Mary Popo. And we're back to uh, Sora having the most stars. 
Uh, everyone revives, so it's a huge party on the square. Sora is gonna move away from us though. Mary Poco is gonna pass by her lollipop and go to uh, my lollipop. Uh, in retrospect, it might have been better to use dinner, but I was really, I really wasn't expecting Mary Poco to KO us. One in six chance. Technically, but this game, man, this game. Blue Mary Popo, Green Mary Popo leveled up. Okay. Uh, we land on Go Away. Not too big of a deal. Sora's gonna go for the boss kill. I get it. So she's at 9 wins. That puts her. Puts her in a good position to be level 5. But uh, Mary Popo actually is extraordinary specs against Sora. Uh, not the best use of extraordinary specs, since you didn't get Sora a kill. But. It's better than nothing. Hmm. We could have used dinner, but uh, that would have probably been a bad idea. So this 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 Mary Popo, this blue Mary Popo, used ubiquitous on us, and we lost our dinner, but we gained future of the toy store. Uh, we're gonna fight blue Mary Popo. We're, we're taking no one's beef. So we get our stars back. And now we're gonna go for 200 or more stars. Hmm. We're actually gonna go for 14 more enemies. My reason behind this is because I can get a kill. I get two kills off of Time 16 Big Rocket. And I'm concerned that Ubiquitous might become a factor. Uh, and worst comes to worst, we can put down for the future of the toy store. So, we're gonna use the big rocket, take out Sora, and we're gonna get into some fighting. Unfortunately, we don't get the KO. We're at 12 wins now. Sora instantly revives. Super all out mode is used, so that will help us or get us killed. Uh, it's now or never, folks. And Sora survives, so that'll be our death. Sora used dinner to heal back the damage. It was worth a try. But again, since we went for wins, losing those stars isn't that big of a deal. Now Sora is only level 3, and she can catch up pretty easily if she rolls some good numbers. But uh, our main concern is Blue Mary Popo. And Blue Mary Popo actually used Sealed Guardian. So everyone's gonna be at one health except us because we were dead during the usage of Sealed Guardian. So this is our opportunity to get the uh, 14th kill. But uh, Blue Mary Popo does a brilliant move. And actually KOs the other Mary Popo as well as herself using the boss. It's a really brilliant move on her part. Because it denies me kills. And that we might die to the boss. And I don't normally commend the CPU for their play, but that was a really excellent move. If I ever get a chance to do this such a move, uh, I would definitely do it. We trigger an assault trap, but not, we don't really lose much out of it. And uh, due to the air ray, we're probably gonna get knocked out by Mary Popo again. But we evaded the attack, so really lucky there. Uh, we it's air ray just occurred, so we're gonna use dash. We use dash because I want to fight this Mary Popo and get the 14th kill. But Mary Popo actually survives. And we get countered in return. So our luck is just atrocious. Hope is not lost yet. Because uh, now this Mary Pope is gonna fight us. And I feel a little risky, so we're gonna evade. But that didn't work out for us. And we eventually got our 14th kill. And 
this. Sometimes you just have to make the judgment call to go for kills instead of stars. So that will be our victory because we rolled that perfect number. Although we would have probably won next turn had we didn't had we not land on our boss because it was our lollipop. So we had the option of passing by it. Back to the story. We did it. Po. Po. Poo. It was fun. Alright, now's the time. Po? Po po po. Gotcha. We finally got her. Hmm, not really. Eh? No, don't tell me. There are more popos? Ugh. Looks like we gotta catch that one as well. Po 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 po. Everyone follow po po. Eh? What now? So... Uh, only one episode left for Mark scenario, but this might take several uh, videos to do because it is the Tomomo chapter. So until next time, I apologize for the uh, above average video length for this one. Uh, it might have been better to split it to two parts, but uh, uh, what's done is done. So until next time, thanks for watching, hope to see you again, Castella out.